Hey everybody, Denny here, Tactical Kayak Angler. Uh, today I want to walk you through how I make my dragging sinkers. Um, if you've done any catfishing in impoundments, you know that the best way to find active fish is to drift. Drifting means dragging, and dragging means snagging. But if you have some uh, snag-proof sinkers, then you can drift through the ugliest sort of cover and get your bait in front of some uh, the best fish uh, without losing your rigs nonstop. So that's what these are, and that's what I want to walk you through today. Uh, a couple of things right out of the gate here on this. Number one, not my idea. Uh, I ran across a video uh, where Steve Douglas was interviewing uh, Larry Muse a few years ago, and Larry was explaining how he made his before he had them produced, and I basically just paid attention and went and made some the same way um, with just a couple of little modifications that I'll show you. So that's number one. Number two, uh, I was going to do this about six weeks ago, and when I was getting ready to make a few and videotape it, right about that time, uh, my boy Justin Johnston from over at Kayak Catfish posted up the exact video of how he makes his. So, my initial reaction, of course, was... That dirty Turkish hark a back flat and fought and fill a bucket, Martin! But then I figured, when I want to make something, I like to watch four or five different people put it together or make their version of it so that I can pick and choose the bits and pieces and the ideas and make it the way that I feel like is going to work best for me. So I figured I would just go ahead and avoid watching his video so that I'm not influenced by how he does it and I would put mine together, tape it, um, post it up for you all to see uh, and then Hopefully, hopefully, uh, there will be some enough differences that it'll be worth watching uh, two different videos. And if there's not, if they even if they turn out exactly the same, um, the benefit here is that with my video, you won't feel like you're watching somebody uh, doing a craft show in a prison cell and listening to them talk over one of those phones that goes th through the window thing where you hear them like, not very good. Justin's audio. So, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get to the build. This isn't really so much uh, of a build as it is really just an assembly. Uh, the key to this is just having the parts. Um, so, the parts list. What you'll need is um, some clear vinyl tubing, uh, half inch outer diameter, three eighths inch inner diameter is what I'm using. Uh, you'll need some twist-on wire connectors, you'll need some screw eyes, and you'll need weight to put in the tubes. Um, some people use uh, buckshot, you can use buckshot, you can use BBs. Uh, I don't make too many of them, so I just use, I get some packs of uh, split shots. Um, and I know that uh, for the size of the, 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 the sinkers that I'm making, two ounces is about right and these packs have about two ounces of weight in them so it's perfect so um, use what you want use whatever's convenient for you um, just keep in mind that uh, how much you put in um, there's kind of a sweet spot and I'll also explain that so once you have all the parts oh you'll also need you'll need some glue some sort of silicone or something um, so you can seal it tight and make it waterproof and uh, a heat gun uh, you could probably use a hair dryer. No self-respecting kayak owner would be without a heat gun. So let's do this. Uh, so I run mine about a foot and a half. So I take a section of the tube and I cut it about 16 inches. Um, and then I take one of the, the wire connectors and put some of the, the glue on it and plug up the end. Uh, you want to use the glue because when this is all done, they need to be waterproof. Uh, if they're not waterproof, you just stick the plug in there. Water will seep in, it will throw the balance, and it will not work the way you want it to. Um, so use the glue, plug one end, uh, put the weights in, whatever weight you're using, and when you have the right amount in, then plug the other end with the, the other plug and make sure it's glued up. And then all that's left is to take your screw eyes and screw one into each side. And then I'll show you here in a bit why I put one on each side. So the first thing you're going to notice here now is that it's all curved because of the way the uh, the, the vinyl tubing comes coiled up. So 
I don't like that. I like them straight. I think they work better, especially since I use the shorter version of it. Um, that's what we use the heat gun for. So hang it up uh, and hit it with the heat gun. take very long. I think it took me maybe five minutes to, to get this thing to, to, to warm up enough to relax and straighten out. Well, once you're done, just let it hang and cool. And then once it cools, you'll be set and it won't curl back up on you. Here's the one we just made right here. So a couple of uh, key important parts on these. And if you want to do a little testing before you glue the other end in, um, just to make sure you've got your weight right, that's probably not a bad idea, depending on how long you want to make them and how, what kind of, what you want to use for weight. The way these work best is if they sit at a, about a 45 degree angle in the water by themselves. So if you throw it in the water and, it, and there's, there's so much weight in it that it lays down close to the ground like that, uh, it will tend to snag a lot more. Uh, conversely, if you've got so much air in it and not enough weight that when you put it in the water it tends to sit up straight, it will be too buoyant and when you drift with it, it will have a tendency to want to ride up and come up off the ground in the water. So if you have it so that it sits by itself at just about a 45 degree angle, your money. That's exactly what you want. It'll, it'll drag properly uh, and it will hit objects, wood, rocks, whatever, and just drag right over them and you'll be in good shape. So that's really, that's really the key there. Um, the other thing, the reason why I put the the screw eye on the bottom as well is sometimes if you're if you're running them way downtown way behind you while you're dragging sometimes you need to just a, to add just a little bit of weight to them and by having the 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 screw eye on the end then you can just put a clip on the bottom and put another ounce or two on that clip just to bump up the weight a bit and uh, as long as you're not going through rocks, if you're going through heavy rocks, this can then hang. Um, but for wood, I've, I've done this with wood and it's never been a problem for me. Um, I don't have to use it very often, but it's, it's, that's why I do that because every once in a while I find that I do need to just add a little bit of weight and this gives me that option to do that, no problem. Super simple. And then obviously to connect them, they're going to connect just like a bang sinker. You're going to put this on your sinker slide or however you connect your sinker and that's going to be your weight. And keep in mind, it's going to lift it up off the ground a little bit more than uh, just dragging a bank sinker would. So if you have to make adjustments to your leader, um, just keep that in mind to factor in. So that's it. It's really super simple, crazy effective. These things, I mean, they cost almost nothing to make. Uh, they don't take any time or effort really to make. Uh, and they work super good. I mean, they're, they really are a game changer for being able to, to, to drift through really, really heavy cover. So I highly recommend that if you don't have any of these in your arsenal, that take 15 minutes, run to Menards, get the gear. It only costs you a few bucks. Get home and take a few minutes and just put a few together and definitely, definitely try them out, okay? And that's it. It doesn't really get any simpler or more straightforward than that. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, or even if you just want to be first, um, do that all in the comments section down below. If you found this helpful or informative, or you just like the tips and tricks videos and you want to let me know that you'd like to see more, um, channel your inner Fonzie and take care of business. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure and do that so you can find your way back. And if you haven't hit the bell, ring the bell so you get the alerts so you know when something gets uploaded. Um, and finally, most, most importantly, get outside and have some adventure in your life. Until next time, paddle up. Let's go looking for a fight.